Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Voltaire, and this is my desiccated co-host, Mr. Orville Dedenbacher. You are watching The Lair of Voltaire. Now, those of you who watch The Lair of Voltaire regularly know that there's something missing here, and I'll tell you what it is. My octagon jack-o'-lantern in the corner over there, the light, its soul, if you will, seems to have extinguished. And that is the theme, unfortunately, of this installment of the April 2013 video newsletter. Sometimes things just go bad. Exactly. But before we begin with the good news and the bad news, let's take a look at upcoming shows. Where am I playing? Near you. April 26, I'm headlining Whitby Gothic Weekend in Whitby, England. On the 28th, I'm in Dublin, Ireland. Then I'm off to Leeds and Windsor. And on May the 4th, that's uh, International Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. I'm in London. Now, I've got some free days in there, so uh, I'm hoping I can figure out what I'm going to do during those free days. Maybe I will fill it with some more shows. If you guys have some ideas uh, that isn't going to cost me any money to get to any particular city, please let me know, and uh, maybe we'll fill some of those dates. I come back to the States to play at the Steampunk World's Fair. And then there's Up in the Ether, which is Up in the Ether. Oh, there's no end of drama in the steampunk scene. And unfortunately, there's little drama with this show. So uh, right now, my booking there is Up in the Ether. So hopefully that'll get straightened out. I have a lot of shows coming up in June and July and August. So please go to Voltaire.net slash calendar, sign up for the mailing list, and never miss a show near you. Music! I am deep, deep into recording my next LP, Raised by Bats. I just finished all of the drum tracks, working yet again with one of the sexiest and most talented drummers in the entire world, Mr. Brian Viglione of the Dresden Dolls. What a sexy little kitten he is. He really banged the hell out of those drums and really created some incredible, incredible music. And now it's on to the next step, bass and guitar. I may very well have a very exciting announcement for you as to who is going to be playing guitar on this album, but mum's the word, it's a little too soon. And um, for those of you who want a sneak peek at the album, you can go to my new SoundCloud page where I've started posting sneak peeks of the demos from this album. When is Raised by Bats going to come out? Oh, hell, I don't know. I'm going to guess at this point sometime in the summer. So please keep an eye at Voltaire.net. Sign up for the mailing list there, and you'll always know when something is happening. The album includes the title track, Raised by Bats, which you saw a world premiere video of here, right here on the Lair of Voltaire. It also includes the song Captain's All, which is a tribute song that I've written for the incredible Mr. Adam Ant. Followed by a lovely song called Oh My Goth, which we'll get into later. And then after that, there is The Night, which is a death rock, sort of goth rock take on my song The Night. It is the way it was originally intended to be recorded. Followed by The Masquerade, a lovely little new wave track, or new romantic track that I wrote when I was 17 years old. Other songs include The Conqueror Worm, uh, Sacrifice, a song I wrote for a very dear friend of mine who passed away when she was 16 years old. The Devil and Mr. Jones, a song I wrote about my dear friend Mr. Doug Jones. A song called Wake Up From This Horrible Dream, which is something of a gothic dance track. And finally, the song Never, which you will read about in my book, Call of the Jersey Devil. Which leads us to... Orville, what's that you got in your hand? It's not a, It's a copy of Call of the Jersey Devil. Call of the Jersey Devil. How exciting is this? I'm holding a copy in my own little talons. Call of the Jersey Devil comes out May 28th. The time is almost upon us. You, however, can pre-order one right now at Amazon.com. You will find the link any more information under this video.
Is it any good, you ask? Well, let's ask the experts. Uh, my dear friend, Ms. Joanne Harris, author of Rune Light, Rune Marks, A Blue-Eyed Boy and Chocolat, a book which uh, you may recall uh, was developed into a live-action feature film, an Academy Award-nominated film starring Mr. Johnny Depp, whom I'd go K for. <laughs> Uh, this is what she has to say about the book. I love it. It's mental and hilarious and brilliant and kind of gross. High praise. High praise indeed. Another incredible quote came in this week. How exciting is this for me? One of my biggest idols in the entire world. The woman who wrote Nightmare Before Christmas. The woman who wrote Edward Scissorhands, Corpse Bride, and the first Adams Family film. This is what Ms. Carolyn Thompson had to say about Call of the Jersey Devil. Aurelio Voltaire continues his reign among the pantheon of goth gods. Call of the Jersey Devil is sly and sweet, nasty and naive, sulfurous and charming, witty, woolly, crackling with evil, and stunning in its sincerity. What a read. Long live Voltaire. Wow. Uh, I, I would fan squee if I thought it was becoming, but it's just not becoming of uh, a grown man. dressed like a pirate to squee. But nonetheless, that is what Carolyn says, that is what Joanne says. I'm so incredibly thankful they took the time to read this book and I hope that you too will pick up a copy of Call of the Jersey Devil. Go get yourself a copy at Amazon. It should be shipping in about a month. Well, I did say that uh, this edition was going to be about things gone bad and things have gone bad. It's, it happens. It happens in life. And uh, I announced in the last newsletter that my book, The Legend of Candy Claws, would be coming out in October and it would be published by Mezco Toys. Well, sadly, that deal fell through. It happens. It happens. Uh, Mezco has apparently bitten off more than they can chew this year, and uh, some of my projects happen to be the casualty of that rescheduling. So what does that mean? That means that Candy Claws will not be coming out on Mezco Toys. Uh, it just puts me right back to where I was originally, which is having a story that I think is really, really fantastic that I want to share with the world and not knowing exactly how or when I'm going to bring it to the world. But I'm going to continue working on it because it's something I truly love and believe in. And, uh, you know, just watch the newsletters and hopefully sometime soon I'll have some good news about Hargoyle the Christmas Bat, Legend of Candy Claws. You can forget about the plush that was going to come with it, which leads us to... Toys! Yes, toys. Uh, gosh, I love toys. Don't you love toys, Orville Dedenbacher? Uh, you know, uh, because Mezco has sort of uh, changed their entire schedule for next year, some of the other casualties involve pretty much everything I was doing with them, so apparently there will not be a Voltaire Living Dead doll in time for Dragon Con this year. It may happen in 2014, but it's not on the schedule as of now. And as I've already mentioned, there will not be a Candy Claws plush, at least not from Mezco. I may find a different way to get it made because that's just how I am. You know, in this world, there is inevitably going to be obstacles. And I always say that I am a river going down the side of a mountain. And one way or the other, my goal is to get to the ocean, and I'm going to get to the ocean. Oh, sometimes there's a tree in my way, and I go around it. And sometimes there's a rock, and I say, Mr. Rock, can you please move out of the way? And the rock says, Meow. And so I find a way around that rock as well. And eventually, somehow, I find my way to the ocean. Not really the analogy I was looking for, but okay, that works too. So one way or the other, all of these things will eventually end up happening somehow, just not as immediately as I had hoped. Which brings us 
to the toy that is happening. The one thing that's in my complete and total control. You know what that is. Oh yes, it is the Pony of Doom! Pony of Doom. Oh, it is so soft. And lovable. It has an embroidered little skull on one flank. My signature laced up V on the other flank and it is just absolutely adorable. I want to love and squeeze this and call it my very own. Actually, I do. And soon you can too. Pre-orders are now open for the Pony of Doom at my store. Here's the link right here. And if you go there and you order a Pony of Doom or two or three or fifteen, as soon as I get them, I will mail it directly to you. Now this is a very, very limited edition item. Very, very limited edition. I'm only making a set amount of them, and once they are sold, that's it. I am not making more. I can tell you right now that I'm just about half sold out. So do not miss out on owning your own little piece of huggably gothic sweetness. <laughs> Alright, reeling myself in. Reeling myself in. Reeling myself in. Um, yes, go to voltaire.net slash store and order yours now before they run out because I will never be making these again. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's so cute. Uh, it's also very important for me to mention, if you look at the text on my store, that if I sell all of them before the month is over, if I sell all of them before the month is over, I am going to write and record a song about Discord, the character from My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. I already have an idea, and now I just need the extra impetus to write and record it. So like I said, we're half sold out. There's still three weeks. Go do it. Get yourself one. You want to hold it, Orville? Why? So tonight I'm riding a black pony of doom. Oh yes, uh, I forgot there was one more toy we talked about last month, the Deddy plush. Unfortunately, the Deddy plush was being made by Mezco and subsequently is also on hold. However, I may make them myself this year. So once Pony of Doom is out of the gate and they're all gone and have all found beautiful homes, if you really, 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 really want a Daddy plush, let me know it. Hit me over the head with it. Everybody who wants one, tell me in the comments below, because if I get enough of a response, I will make them myself. But you know, the way these things work, you need to make a lot of them. They won't make five or 10 or, or 100. You have to make lots and lots of them. And in order for me to invest all of my hard-earned money that I normally would be using for, no, I was going to say paying rent and eating, but all of that hard-earned money that I would invest in making a plush, you know, and, and they all sat around and nobody bought them, that would be really tragic. So let me know how badly you want a Daddy plush, and if the demand is great enough, I will make one. Moving on. My film Odokuro, my latest short film, is, is sort of wrapping up its festival run. Thank you, everybody who came out to see that film at the different places where it's screened. Most recently at the Phoenix Film Festival. It was very nice to see some of you out there. But now it's time to make a feature film. Now, some of you may know that I acted in a, in a movie called Model Hunger, directed by my very dear friend, Miss Debbie Rashawn. It's her directorial debut. And while working on that film, I met the producer, Mr. James Morgart, and uh, he and I got to talking, and one thing led to another, and we have signed an agreement to start looking for the funds to make an Oh My Goth feature film. Now, those of you who are old enough may remember Oh My Goth was a comic book series of mine from the mid-90s. 
and I have toyed around with the idea of making it as a short film, as a web series, at one point as a TV show, but it's just never, ever, ever come to fruition. But now we are going to do our very best to develop it into a live action feature. Now I will be playing the part of Hieronymus Posh. <laughs> But uh, there's no telling who else will be in the film. I know this much, there's lots of aliens and there's lots of spaceships. So uh, for the last couple of years, I've actually been working on the Black Spire, which is the black flying cathedral space station that Hieronymus Posh comes to this world on. And if you're interested in seeing how some of these things are made, you can go to my Facebook page and see an entire vlog that I've been keeping, excuse me, an entire blog that I've been keeping of the making of the Black Spire. You'll find the link in the information below. And you will be able to finally answer the question, Voltaire, what do you do with your time when you're not making songs, music, touring, writing books, designing toys, uh, beating small children, and being an amateur gynecologist? Making a feature film, especially one that is live action with so much stop motion monsters and makeup effects and special effects and things of that nature is a huge undertaking. So join me, let us raise a glass, a toast to the Oh My God feature film. May the producers, James Morgard and Karen Thompson and myself succeed in bringing it to light. <laughs>
While I slumber, unencumbered, waiting for the knife to fall, painting on its gory canvas crimson blood against the wall, fleshly splattered, torn and tattered, throat slit Zuni fetish doll, unleashed spirit in the darkness silently starts down the hall. Bravo, bravo, or brava, I suppose is the correct thing to say. And so, Liz, you two will be receiving a coffin box and handmade necklace. I do have to share with you some of these honorable mentions. There were so, so many amazing ones. The honorable mention ones, I picked not so much for their amazingness, but because they are so wonderfully ridiculous. Here's one from Concrete Doll 107. Concrete Doll 107 <laughs> submitted this one. Voltaire now makes gothic ponies to appease the lost and lonely bronies. <laughs> so true. So true. It's true. It's true. I loved that one. And uh, Digital Enigma. Now, I happen to know Digital Enigma personally, so I know where this poem is coming from. It reads, I have a posh doll. My cat rapes his head nightly. Now, that's not really much of a poem, but I know the posh doll she's speaking of, and I realize this isn't a poem, it's just the truth! I was wondering why my ears are always wet when I wake up in the morning. And lastly, of the honorable mentions for this contest, Jay Sama. Jay Sama writes, Dragon dildos destroy your anus all night long. <laughs> uh. Yes, they do. They really do. They do. I can't. They do. This brings us to the end of this newsletter and our contest for this month. Now I mentioned that uh, myself, James Morgart, and Karen Thompson are working very, very diligently together to make an Oh My Goth feature film. Now if you read the Oh My Goth uh, comic books, I have one right here somewhere. Oh My Goth graphic novel right there. If you read these, you know that there are several things that happen in Oh My Goth. Uh, Hieronymus Posh, this extraterrestrial from another planet, comes to Earth with orders to pave it into a landing strip. And of course, he just finds that it's so much more fun to abduct Earth women and to abduct bands and have them play on his spaceship, the Black Spire. So, this month's contest. The prize being this adorable plush bat. Oh, it's so soft and lovely. It's a good... I think that was the mother bat outside. It's a good thing it's not anatomically correct, because it's really, really cute. <laughs> in order to win this beautiful plush bat, I want for you to tell me in the comments below what bands would you like to see performing on the Black Spire in an Oh My Goth feature film. Go crazy. Let me know who you want to see on the show. The winner will be chosen at random, and the winner will win this ginormous plush bat. And that is the end of the April 2013 video newsletter. I'm Voltaire. This is Mr. Orville Dedenbacher. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. <laughs>